going to the nail salon can be a relaxing self care method, but it's not always an entirely painless process. Cuts and scrapes are common at the spa, but it can lead to a more serious issue. With Mother's Day this weekend, CBS 4's Jelena Martinez looks into the dangers at nail salons and what they pose if they're not properly maintained. I don't know if you want me to match yes. your toes. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. All right. Yes. So we've got it's often a girl's hardest decision. Orange. Anywhere from like a coral to like absolute, you know, Think traffic so. cone neon. <laughs> <laughs> the right color for any occasion, but underneath a day of pampering lies a forgotten health risk. Many times a second thought when going to a nail salon. You have to uh, be sanitizing our stuff. Every single tool needs to be sterilized and disinfected to the T. Even if anything was in our pouch, it's still to be cleaned. From scrubbing them down, even the tip cutter. A lot of other salons don't do that, but even the tip cutter gets cleaned, wiped down. To drying nice each dry. instrument individually. And we have to do this after every single client because if not, diseases can get spread. Perinichia is basically an infection of the junction between your nail and your skin where your cuticle is. And that is very common, especially whenever you get um, cut with uh, uh, dirty implements that haven't been sterilized. Is to be sterilized. After the required tools are stored in pouches, they're set for baking, a process in which the instruments are placed in an autoclave or dry heat sterilizer to eliminate all forms of bacteria or microorganisms. So as well as the buffer and the files, they have to be in 10 minutes minimum. To me, it's a red flag when someone opens a drawer in a manicure table and just gets out a clipper, a cuticle pusher. We have our clippers. When people are going to use the, the, the instruments, that they open them from a sterile container. It shows that it went under the sterilization process and it, it shows that they did actually sterilize a container. Sanitizing and sterilizing tools and equipment is required by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. A process polished nail salon in Harlingen makes sure to follow. Since January, five nail salons across the valley have outstanding violations, according to TDLR. Violations that can lead clients to leave with lingering bacteria. You do not want to be placing your feet in an area where somebody with some sort of infection had an open sore. It's very scary. Everything should be sterilized with EPA of medical grade or at least the one that they require. Aside from keeping tools sanitized, nail technicians also have to maintain clean foot basins to prevent any bacteria from lurking in them. Something as simple as a pernichia or even a fungal infection or even if they cut your toenail wrong, you open up a little wound, it can very quickly become an amputation. Anybody having any kind of needing a little bit of care on their toes because they may have some kind of disease or condition, um, like fungus and stuff like that, every salon has a right to deny services to them and refer them somewhere else. State regulations also require Whirlpool foot spas and non-Whirlpool foot basins to be drained, cleaned, disinfected, and finally dried after use upon each client. You can also get the EPA again scrub down where their legs have touched. They should be dry when you come in and you sit in a tub. It shouldn't be wet. It should be dry and already cleaned. Protecting customers from unsanitary conditions should be as equally important as providing them with satisfying services. It's customers like Cooper Ellis who look out for warning signs. Maybe used multiple times or files that looked really well worn. Um, or not seeing them put something back right away, they would put it back in the same container on their on their station, which is kind of alarming. In McAllen, with complete Valley coverage, Jolani Martinez, CBS4 Valley, tonight.